Hello and welcome to Cedar Rapids. We're in a new city that we've never been to before. We are in Cedar Rapids, Iowa because we got invited by the tourism board to come experience what the city is like. We're super excited. We have actually been to Iowa before, but never to Cedar Rapids. And all that we've heard about Cedar Rapids is literally amazing things. So we're freaking excited to check it out for ourselves. We're on like an LGBTQ tour of the city because as we're filming this, it is June 1st, AKA Pride Month. And this will go up like a little bit later um, in June, but right now is the start of Pride Month. And what better way to ring in Pride Month than go on an LGBTQ tour of a city? Gabby said she feels far away, so I guess that my pocket's messed up. I guess and I have to fix that's my, my cue to hold this like this. <laughs> So we're really excited to explore and just check out like Cedar Rapids completely. I feel like it's so important that there's hubs in places like Iowa, like cities, where you know that you can go and be safe and have a good time and like get an amazing experience. So we've heard that this is one of them, but we're gonna have to see for ourselves. Yeah, so we basically have a like a whole itinerary for the weekend of a bunch of fun stuff that we're doing. Like literally amazing. Literally things. amazingly um, fun stuff. Beyond excited for every single thing that we're doing. And it starts today. Like we literally flew all morning and now it's like two and our itinerary starts at like 4 p.m. Yeah, so basically we're, we just like changed and got ready. We did not look like this no. on the plane. We looked very different. We freshened up. Shanna was wearing her Taylor Swift sweatshirt. We looked different. We By the anyway, way, I just wanted to show you that, like what's our view from the window because it's very Midwestern. Um, fields. Fields of flat land. Very different than what we're used to back home. There's not a tall building in sight. Just lots of flat green land. Lots of grass. Lots of grass. Lots of grass, I'll take that. Also we're staying at the Hotel Kirkwood and we just checked in, so like all of our stuff is kind of like everywhere because we were like getting ready, but look at this room. It's yeah, we kept it kind massive. of organized. The mess is ironically behind me right now, which is where Shanna's showing you. Yeah, well but you the can room really is see massive, it actually. But you can see. This is a pretty big room. I mean, not as big as some of the other rooms we've been in recently, but it's yeah. pretty big. Oh my God, and it's so sweet. The room is so clean and nice, but what's also so sweet is that the, the people that we're on this trip with left us like little little like goodie boxes of like snacks and stuff. And they knew we were vegan so they gave us like each individual, like that's Gabby's one. So that's my one with all vegan snacks. Yeah, you can tell that it's mine because it has a Diet Coke. It's Gabby's fave. <laughs> But anyway, we're super excited to be here. We love exploring these like little more like I would say like lesser known cities um, just because like we feel like there's not a lot of information about it. So we're always curious about it and we always have the best time. Yeah. And a lot of times like these smaller cities that you wouldn't have heard about if you maybe didn't watch our video wind up being our favorite places because sometimes they're just so unique and special. Yeah. So we're going to be here all weekend and we are going to be showing you. Let's exactly go. What we're up Cedar to. Rapids, Iowa. Chris, I don't know if you can see, but right here it says that it's 86 degrees in Cedar Rapids and that it is currently thunderstorming. However, does this look like thunderstorm weather to you? No thunderstorms out here. It's freaking so nice out. It's like, feels like it's like 90 degrees, but we've been cold all day, like traveling. The planes are so cold. So that's really good to be outside. Yes. Yeah, so we're just like sitting outside in the non thunderstorm. Chilling. <laughs> several renovations with the most recent one uh, from 2008 when we had a flood here in Cedar Rapids and uh, they brought the building back to its uh, original historic um, look so when it first opened this is what it looked like it was really cool Okay, so this is a Captain Berry Crunch cocktail, and Captain Crunch is actually made here in Cedar Rapids, but sadly Gavin and I can't try this one because there's egg white in it, but I think someone else is going to try. You should try it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. And tell us how it tastes. Childhood. <laughs> Childhood in a cocktail. You get like the, actually when you go, you smell the crunch berries and it's just like wafting. But then it actually has like its own like unique little flavor as far as like the drink itself. But like that's awesome. You have like a Captain Crunch rim, and then you have like I know. Look at that. The all berries right there. I feel like we're gonna have other Captain Crunch opportunities I'm here. Waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Um. So we just finished up at the rooftop bar called 351st, which is on top of the DoubleTree Hotel, and I will say it is 
a decent sized rooftop bar for a um, smaller city because yes. we went up 16 floors and we've been to some rooftop bars that are like five floors before. Yeah, it's really nice. It was like an indoor one, but you kind of get a view of like the whole city and you can even see the factory where they make Captain Crunch, which is like a big thing here. Apparently when they make it, you can even like smell it in the city, like the Captain Crunch in the morning. Like that's something people say here. So I've heard that a lot of different things are made with Captain Crunch. It's like they're very proud of this. Yeah, I think I, I think I might have showed the Captain Crunch cocktail in the video, but we also like saw the Quaker Oats factory where they make the Captain Crunch and also other series. I think they were saying this is like the biggest like cereal producer in all of the United States. So that's kind of crazy. And they also make oatmeal and like other things here. So we think that's really cool. They were telling us on our tour that apparently like the locals like don't really like it so much, but we think it's really interesting. Yeah, pretty epic. I don't think we said yet, but we are with our besties, Michael and Matt. Michael's back there. There you are. You're in it now. I oh, there he is. Too. <laughs> They're too tall. I can't get us all at the same time. I know. Yes. Yes. And it's you guys are both minute. from the Midwest, right? Welcome to my homeland. I'm not. Oh, you're not. He, okay, okay. Is. Michael's from the Midwest. Homeland. Michael, you're gonna tell us everything. You're gonna tell us everything we need to know. Because we're a city girls, and we don't know anything. here for Pride Month, but look, they know it's Pride Month here oh, in Cedar rainbow. Rapids. Look at this <laughs> rainbow building. So cool. Good morning from Cedar Rapids. So it is the next day now, um, and I filmed some stuff on our other camera last night, so I think I got basically everything we did. We did the tour of the Paramount Theater. We went to this rooftop bar and got like the Captain Crunch um, cocktail, or well, we didn't try it, but like we saw that they had a Captain but Crunch cocktail. But it looked cocktail. good, and we're gonna try <laughs> other Captain Crunch stuff for sure if we can. <laughs> um, and then we went to dinner at this amazing like farm to table restaurant called Cobble Hill, which is super cute because actually apparently the owners used to live in Cobble Hill in Brooklyn, which is like a neighborhood really nearby where Gabby and I live. <laughs> yeah, so it was a really cute restaurant. And then we just got to like sit down and like have dinner and enjoy spending time with all the people that we're on like this group trip with because obviously we have some friends that we already knew on this group trip like Michael and Matt. But whenever you're on a trip like this, you're always meeting new people and getting to like spend time with them. So that was super nice for the first day of Pride Month. So now we're going to start day two, which Gabby's super excited about because we're starting off a breakfast at the hotel, but then we're going to some sort of farm that we don't like know the name of yet, but we're going to be with baby animals. Yeah, so apparently this morning we're gonna get to go hang out with all the like newborn baby animals. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like baby goats, baby sheep. I don't I don't even know. I just like I can't handle it. I dreamt about baby animals all night last night. Then we're doing a bunch of other like super cool stuff later. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see all of the animals. This is gonna be such a good like outdoorsy day. I'm in my little Workout set for the animals. Yeah, us city girls um, don't really ever go to farms, so we're really excited. Something that I don't think we mentioned is we already said that Cedar Rapids is a very like queer, LGBTQ friendly city, but we saw like in their visitor guide that it was actually received a perfect score on the HRC's Municipal Equality Index, which is kind of how they like rate like how LGBTQ friendly like certain destinations are. So Cedar Rapids received a perfect score. So if you're in the area or you need like a little road trip to go to, I think Cedar Rapids is gonna be a good place for you if you're queer. <laughs> Okay, so our next stop is Bloomsbury Farms, and here we are going to see some baby animals, and we are so excited. So excited. Apparently, like, it's like the time of year where all the baby animals are here, so we're gonna get to see some, to play with them. Can't wait. And also, this farm does, um, like, a bunch of, like, tours, and they have, like, other events throughout the year as well, so if you're ever in Cedar Rapids, you definitely have to come check it out, because yeah. we just got here, and then we can already see there's, like, a corn palace, a corn maze, as well as, like, obviously all the other stuff that yeah. animals have on the farm. And it's beautiful here, so that's something that you, like, definitely cannot miss. <laughs> of your life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't bring your wife to a bunny, which you can hold a baby bunny, because look, I see the tears. They're already there. <laughs> Are you guys loving holding all the little baby animals? 
yeah. ever. <laughs> this one's like my baby. Gabby said it's her baby, but I no, think it's now it's baby. Maybe you guys can be a straight you couple and it could both be your baby. <laughs> I think it's your baby. Look how cozy it is. It's so cute. It's like I feel like it likes it. Midwest delicacy. This is the Scotcheroo, or if you make it with a different type of cereal, it could also be known as a special K bar. Typically made with Rice Krispies, it is corn syrup and peanut butter topped with a 50 50 mixture of milk, chocolate, and butterscotch chocolate chips. I'm the, the llama wrangler here at Prairie Pack Farm. Um, it's my joy to share some of the most amazing animals on all the green earth with y'all. This is Poet, everyone. He's my llama for the day. We're gonna be walking together. We're going on a little hike with the llamas, and Gabby has Sully. And we have to stay on the left of the llamas. That's what they told us. Walking with our llamas is like so therapeutic. So therapeutic. This is like one of the funnest things ever. I could do this every day. They listen so well, I feel like. Mine mine ate some grass I wasn't supposed to eat, but besides that, I feel like Yeah, I'm I'm giving you some compliments, poet. Hello. Hi. So we got back from our amazing day today. We had so much fun. It was a very like animal centric day yeah like it was my perfect kind of day like it was incredible we saw so many baby animals and we got to walk with llamas like we did a literal walk with llamas and it was so sick i yeah. mean just like i cannot like it was so like zen and cool and fun and like just something we'd never done before so highly recommend doing that when you're here yeah i think that was like one of our favorite things ever because we are like such city people like both gabby and i are basically like born and raised in a city or new york city and it, we just don't get these kinds of experiences in the city, like authentically, like how you can here in Cedar Rapids. So we got to pet like baby animals on a farm. And then we went to the llama farm after that and got to like walk around with llamas. Like that was freaking incredible. Like one of the coolest things that I think we've ever done. And just like one of the most unique experiences. Like I don't know if we'll ever have another moment in life where we're just like walking in the woods in Iowa with like a bunch of llamas. And we each had like our own llamas. So we were like walking like two by two by two, like human llama. Human llama. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but there's tons of footage of it, but it was just like beyond cool. Yeah, it was really cool, really unique, and like just like so much fun. Yeah, we also saw barn cats and we got to pet them. Oh, it's just the best day ever. I literally think that I touched like 30 different, I held like 30 different animals today and I got llama kisses. So cool. Incredible. <laughs> so now we are getting ready and we changed our outfits because we were like all sweaty because it's really hot here right now. It's like 90 degrees. Yeah, it um, is June, but, but it they is, were that's saying, hot for them, I yeah, think. Yeah, they were saying that like it usually doesn't get like this until like August and until the, usually only for like a few weeks. Like the fact that it's like this hot in June is like crazy. So crazy. we were very sweaty. So we changed our outfits and now we are going to, I think like, um, a restaurant for like happy hour slash like appetizers and then somewhere for dinner. Yeah, but we're just having like the best time ever. This city is like so fun so far. Like we're loving Cedar Rapids. Yeah, I feel like there's so many different things you could do here. Like we haven't even actually explored like the full downtown area yet which because we're doing that tomorrow. Like we only went yesterday for a little bit and I feel like we already did so much stuff. That so much. It's amazing. So I can't wait to see what else we're doing. Chilling in Cedar Rapids. Rapids. If you know where that's from. <laughs> Perks to you. I'm gonna post it in, probably in the next clip. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Just walking through the Czech village and there's a whole entire Czech band playing right now. Hopefully which is you can really hear cool. it. So this is a cool area in Cedar Rapids. You We're have actually to come coming and check back it out. Here. We're coming back here tomorrow, so you'll so, get the whole scoop. Tomorrow. Talk more about it then, but I'm gonna show you. Cedar River. <laughs> Crossing over the Cedar River for the first time. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. It's so really nice. Cute. We're all walking over right now, but. Good morning.
morning. All right, Gabby, what are we doing today? So we're gonna go do a pottery class, which I'm so excited about. We're gonna go do the wheel like how they do in the movie Ghost, if you've ever seen that movie, and Shanna's never done it before. And Gabby's been looking forward to this forever because you know she's a queen artsy and she just loves doing anything creative. So I think she's gonna be a perfectionist with this and I'm gonna have to <laughs> sit back and wait until she's completed her task. I might be, even if it comes out terrible, like when it comes to artsy stuff, I am kind of a perfectionist just because it's so fun for me, I love it. So we just did the pottery class. It was so fun and so therapeutic, honestly. But these are Shanna's right here, all finished and ready to go into the kiln. And these are mine. So fun. So next up, we are going to Ray Gun, which is a like little like gift shop and like local store. We have been to these before. We went to one in Des Moines and one in Chicago. And it's just really cute. We love these yeah. kinds of stores. It's an amazing shop. And in general now, we're just gonna walk around and get some lunch and go to like a bunch of shops in the area. But Reagan is actually from Iowa, so I feel like really cool going. Now that I know this information, because the last time we were here, we did not know that. Okay, so we finished up at the pottery class, and then we went to the Nubo City Market for lunch, which was really good. They had like a bunch of like, um, like little like food vendors in there, and they had a few vegan options, which was really good. Yeah, delicious. So nice that you can like pick and choose what you feel like and try a few different things. So now we are going to the Czech Village, which is like a really cute area. We were actually here last night for dinner, but it was kind of like late and dark out. So we didn't film like really anything there, but we're super excited to be back today because there's like lots of like really cute shops and restaurants over here. It just looks like the kind of like area that Gab and I just love to visit when we travel. Yeah, such a cool area. And they were also saying there's a lot of like vintage shops and stuff like that over here. Which you, you know, know, you know, we is our it. jam. <laughs> it's our jam. So we're gonna try and go in some shops and like explore the Czech Village because um, I think in this specific area of Cedar Rapids, um, like a lot of like Czech and Slovakian people settled here. So there's still like a lot of Czech and Slovakian people that live here now. And there's a lot of like Czech and Slovakian history in this area. Thank you for being here and loving our community like we do. And I love you all too. We love you too. Cheers. 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 C